In this video, we will discuss about brassinosteroids, also called as BRs. They are six class of hormones, phytohormones or plant hormones. So, in this video, we will discuss what are brassinosteroids, their structure and how they are synthesized, their biosynthesis, how they were discovered and what are its physiological effects or hormonal effects in detail. First, we will discuss Brassinosteroids, what are Brassinosteroids, plant hormones or phytohormones? So they are group of steroidal hormones or steroid hormones which play an important role in the growth and development of the plants. So these Brassinosteroids, they were discovered in the laboratory in the US Department of Agriculture. Laboratory name was Plant Hormone Laboratory in Maryland. So they found that stem elongation and cell division was enhanced by the treatment of organic extracts of rapeseed plant that is Brassica napis pollens as well as they found that uh, illness glutinosa also called as elder. So uh, when their pollens were used there was an unusual response in the growth of the plants that is cell division was enhanced as stem elongation was there so uh, this how this is taking place then this was studied by md grove and group in 1979 they took the uh, these uh, pollen grains and uh, extract their extracts and that extract was containing certain substance and that substance was named as brassinolid so first brassinolid was isolated from uh, Brassica napis pollens and this was named as Brassinosteroid in 1979 because it is from the Brassica species and it is steroidal in nature so this was named as Brassinosteroid. Till now 70 Brassinosteroids have been discovered from the plants. Uh, Mitchell and Gregory in 1972, they also found that Brassins or Brassinosteroid, they are highly effective in the crop yield, in improving, improving the crop efficiency as well as seed vigor of the plants. Now, this was how they were discovered and named. Then what is their structure? They resemble with the steroids. So, we can see here, basically steroids, they have three cyclohexane ring, one, two, three, and one cyclopentane ring. So this area of the steroid is called as its nucleus. So this will be same here in the brassinolate and this is the side chain of the brassinolate. So this is the nucleus and this is the side chain. So all BRs or brassinosteroids have a steroidal nucleus. Steroidal nucleus means three cyclohexane ring and one cyclopentane ring. Because it is having hydroxyl group at many places, so this is called as polyhydroxy steroids. So this brassinolid is also called as 5-alpha colstein derivative. So these were isolated having some biological activity or like we discussed they have an important role to play in the plant growth and development. Now depending upon their carbon types they are classified as carbon 27 carbon 28 carbon 29 so uh, how many carbons are present in the brassinolid depending upon that they are categorized into different categories 27 28 or 29 so uh, this is based on alkyl substitution patterns of the side chain because this area will remain same this side chain can vary so this their number will vary according to their side chains so uh, these were named as brassinolid like we have discussed. Now brassinosteroids now they have been discovered from alga, gymnosperms, monocots and dicots. But they are, if we see their concentration where it is found it is usually in the reproductive organs which are in the growing stage especially like in pollens then growing tissues in immature seeds which are still developing into seeds and shoots. So how they are synthesized because they are steroidal in nature. So this is synthesized from the camsterol. This is also kind of steroidal hormone. So uh, we will discuss in detail about their physiological effects or hormonal activities. So they are involved in many pro plant processes or development. 
so important roles of resinous steroids are they are involved in promotion of cell expansion and cell elongation like supposing this is a cell now this cell when it elongate this will be like this so ultimately more cell wall materials they are needed now this cell wall which is here of this length and then this is getting converted into this length so cellular fibers they will get loosens up like this so there is loosening of the cell wall microfibrils so this is called as cell loosening effect so this will lead to elongation of the hypocotyle apicotyles peduncles in dicots coleopotyle and mesocotyles in monocots uh they are acting like auxins but they are different from auxin auxin they act very fastly and their effect is up to a shorter extent but here they will uh, their action will take place lately but they are more effective their uh, their eff effect will last long as compared to auxins then brasino steroids are also involved in cell division and cell wall regeneration now when one cell divide into two more cell wall materials they are needed so they will enhance the cell division and cell proliferation I mean formation of cells will increase as well as formation of the new cell wall this is called as cell wall regeneration so they stimulate cell division they enhance cell division they also help in formation of the cell wall during cell division and supposing this is a cell this is dividing into other cells so this is called as cell division and cell wall formation but ultimately this cell is going to form certain thing so when this develops into uh, some particular tissue this is called as differentiation so differentiation brasino steroid they play an ro important role in the protoplast differentiation so what is protoplast so inside this is cytoplasm and nucleus so this is called as protoplast so they help in protoplast differentiation then they play an important role in the pollen tube for a uh, pollen tube formation and its elongation now i have shown in the diagram this is the stigma part this is the ovary part and these are the ovules and this is the pollen grain now pollen grains they fall on the stigma and then they start germinating so this is pollen grain this will form the pollen tube like this so pollen tube travels through the styloid tissue this is the style part and reach toward the ovule uh, sometime pollen tube remains short and this is not able to reach toward the ovules so fertilization will not take place and this is called as male sterile plant because proper fertilization is not occurring male gametes they are not reaching toward the female gamete but brasino steroids they will help in formation of this pollen tube and this will reach toward the ovular parts so here we can see in this figure now this is reaching toward the ovule part so brasino steroid helps in overcoming the male sterility so ultimately male gamete will reach toward the female gamete and fertilization will take place so brasino steroids they help in overcoming male sterility they also help in uh, production of haploid seeds and genetically more stable crops then brasino steroid plays an important role in the nucleic acid and protein synthesis like we have seen that they increase the cell division so when from one cell two cell then four cells are being produced and so many cells are being produced their protoplasm will differentiate then proteins are needed dna is needed so these brasino steroids they help in formation of nucleic acids as well as protein synthesis then they play an important role in the vascular differentiation a vascular tissue is xylem and phloem so they play an important role in the formation of tracheary elements and for that they help in regulation of the enzyme which is called as xyloglucan endotransglycosylase now this enzyme will act on the xyloglucan so this xyloglucan endotransglycosylase is acting on the substrate xyloglucan basically xyloglucan is present this is cell so this is present in the 
cell wall. So cell wall is made up of cellulose and hemicellulose. So xyloglucan is a hemicellulose that occurs in the primary cell wall of all vascular plants. So what does this enzyme does? This enzyme xyloglucan endotransglycosylase cuts and ligates mean ligates ka matlab hota hai chodna xyloglucans integrating new xyloglucans in the cell wall leading to cell wall enlargement and this is also called as cell wall modification like if we see this is a cell wall fibrils having cellulose and hemicellulose so new xyl see this is new xyloglucan which is being added here right and when this is being added uh, this will help in enlargement expansion of the cell wall and this will lead to the ligation of the cell wall this is called as cell wall modification then brassinosteroids also play an important role uh, providing protection to the plants during chilling and drought stress drought is when water is not there chilling is when uh, there is more cold condition this is called as chilling so extracts from plants uh, lichnus viscaria increases the disease resistant of the surrounding plant supposing this plant is growing this is the plant which is growing here and its surrounding plants are present here these are the surrounding plants so this plant can increase the disease resistant in these plants because of the production of the brassinosteroids then uh, brassinosteroids counteracts both biotic and abiotic stresses in the plant biotic mean living and abiotic mean non living like if there is drought stress chilling stress high temperature stress this will be abiotic but if it is due to certain phytopathogens then it is called as biotic stress so application of brassinosteroids to cucumber plants help in removal of the pesticide supposing we are growing cucumber and that has been grown in the pesticides in with the treatment of the pesticides but when we treat the cucumber with the brassinosteroids those pesticides will be reduced and we will be able to consume cucumbers properly and when rice seeds they are treated with brassinosteroids they were able to tolerate more salt stress conditions as compared to other seeds which are not treated so we can say they also make the plant salinity resistant or they help in overcoming salinity stress saline stress salinity conditions brs that is brassinosteroids stabilize membranes they prevent leakage of the electrolytes uh, supposing this is cell wall and this is its membrane here so these will protect these membranes and jahan se jo bhi bahar ko aana hai ya koi leakage honi hai that will be prevented with the help of brassinosteroids then formation of energy is required for various activities so atp formation is increased antioxidant formation is also increased then brassinosteroids play an important role in the agriculture as well as in the horticulture crops say they improve the quantity as well as quality a quantity we can say if there is uh, in certain crop there is grain production formation of grains will be increased and grains ki jo uh, quality hai kaise improve hogi by their nutritional value will be improved similarly this will act on the horticulture crops fruit quality may be improved so brassinosteroid also protect plant against many stresses like we, we have discussed chilling stress uh, freezing stress salinity stress uh, brassinosteroid application has also protected the plant from various fungal diseases such as phytophthora infestans which causes late blight of potato this is a fungus then mildew on cucumber this is again a fungus then viral diseases and various other kind of phytopathogen mean pathogens which affect the plant they are called as phytopathogen so brassinosteroids can protect from the phytopathogens then brassinosteroids are also used as plant strengthening substances 
सो दे कैन स्ट्रेंथन द प्लांट दे कैन इन्हांस द सेल डिविजन दे कैन इन्हांस द क्वालिटी ऑफ द क्रॉप दे कैन इन्हांस द यील्ड ऑफ द क्रॉप दे कैन इंक्रीज द एफिशेंसी ऑफ द क्रॉप मेजर बेनिफिट ऑफ यूजिंग ब्रेसिनो स्टेरॉयड इज दैट इट डज नॉट इंटरफेयर विद द एनवायरमेंट लाइक दिस इज नॉट इफेक्टिंग द इको सिस्टम और द एनवायरमेंट बिकॉज दे अकर मोस्टली इन अ नेचुरल वे सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि दे विल अकर इन अ नेचुरल वे बट दे आर बेनिफिशियल टू द प्लांट दे आर सिक्स क्लास ऑफ प्लांट हारमोन्स सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट ब्रेसिनो स्टेरॉयड्स Uh, thank you for watching my video if you really like my video please like share and subscribe if you want to ask any question please ask me in the comment box